Hey, what is up guys? Bayleaf back again. I've been having a few technical issues today, so hopefully that will clear up. I'm not sure if it's the new equipment or just a bigger load on the RAM on my computer. I have no fucking clue. I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna close a few programs here and see if I can get a little more RAM, but I honestly don't know why my cam cut out in the last video, but you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. It probably won't happen again. It was easy to fix. So, let's just get into this. Today, I am going to be reacting to, naturally, Ruby, Volume 3, Chapter 11, Heroes and Monsters. So, this should be interesting, to say the least. I've... Oh, I'm so excited for this episode, guys. I'm just gonna start playing it and talk through the opening stuff some because I want to get into it as quick as possible so uh, <laughs> last episode was incredible I have a feeling they're at the very least ramping up to a massive climax for the series so I'm very excited to just once all of it's out just binge watch this with some of my friends because a lot of them don't actually watch it episode by episode they went to the entire things out and just binge for a few days well this probably took a few days but at least a couple hours and so when we do that, it's gonna be great. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he reacts to this. It's so fucking amazing. Um, when this wraps up, I would happily react to other videos, um, fan stuff. I'll probably do reactions for Undertale, reactions for Red vs. Blue, Ruby, MLP, uh, tons of shit. So that'll be a lot of fun. If you ever have a reaction quest, I'll def I'm definitely interested. If I haven't seen the video yet, just message me, comment, hey, can you react to this video, here's a link, and I'll definitely react to it, and it, it'll be a lot of fun, so, uh, yeah, definitely, I'm always willing to do that, because it's, it, I have fun with this, granted, I, I can't often find a lot of time or capability to do it, I'm hoping to get more into my creative side lately, and I have been, um, I auditioned for a thing yesterday, so that was pretty cool voice acting part, I'm not gonna tell you much more about it than that, oh, so I'll talk to you more about uh, that kind of stuff after. It's a good thing there are bigger fish to fry than her, otherwise... Oh! At least she doesn't have to fight all of them. Weapons are assholes, man. <laughs> MLP confirmed it, Ruby confirmed it. Damn. Fuck me. I honestly don't know if Ruby can take this chick. She's fast. No, so is Ruby. You but... cannot be serious. He knows so much of a problem Ruby can be. Is that what you become? This will definitely. Love? A coward. Yeah. Why are you doing oh, this? Oh, there's screams in the you background. Okay. <laughs> For a second, there, I thought a kitten was there, and I was like, huh? You're destined to light the fires of revolution. Consider That's what you call revolution. The spark. Killing innocent humans. I'm not running. <laughs> you will. But not before you've suffered for your betrayal, my love. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, I'll admit. We've only ever seen him fight once, so I have no idea what he's capable of or what his semblance is, so a fight against Big will be great, especially since they both know each other's abilities. Twice. So my Dragons and Hunters is working together, and it's such a perfect sync. You should have blocked him instead of pushing him out of the way. Guys, this is uh, scrubbing that beard. Well, I guess now is a better time than any. Velvet, really? Just nice. This is what I've been waiting for since season one. I've already seen it, but this is the part I had spoiled. But oh my god, is it amazing? <gasps> we may fall. I love this song. She's going to get hurt. Just watch. I have to crank it. I'm sorry, this is a song now. Oh, 
I have no idea how she got Ruby's skill, though. So that's the exact same move she pulls, you know, earlier in the episode. Yeah, earlier in the show. And then the same thing with Weiss. A lot of the, these moves are from their trailers. So near the end, she would get their skill by photographing their weapons, but... Maybe your semblance is being able to, like, see stuff and know how to do it. I know there's a name for that kind of ability, I don't know what it is. Good staff, more hammer. Why does no one else help her? At least Penny's weapon is still alone, I have to admit. Because pretty, pretty freaking amazing. I'm hoping those will become like Velvet's go-to weapon, since um, Penny may not be around to use them anymore. They definitely should have a character that does. I'm so curious if that minigun becomes a- oh yeah, it turns to a person and she beats them with it. I forgot. Come on, Weiss, you know you want the spotlight. Here it comes, here it comes, boys. Boys and girls, get ready. For a summer. Granted, it's only an arm, but it's still fucking incredible. Okay, one of my friends thinks because she snapped a picture of the summon, she'll be able to do it. I honestly don't think that's true. I don't think she can catch people's semblances with it. But if he's right, then he'll have a lot to hold you over my head. Got to be kidding me! <laughs> Damn the life of a hunter. Wouldn't wish it on anyone. Holy shit! This fight is incredible. Little red, pull the trigger. Red. You are just determined to be the hero of Vale, aren't you? What are you doing? Without these ships, the Grim will destroy everything. That's the plan. But why? What do you get out of it? You're asking the wrong questions, Red. It's not what I have to gain. It's that I can't afford to lose! Now I'm starting to get curious about his backstory. I'm surprised Ruby is doing so well. Ah, oh, spoke too soon. Oh, I can't remember the name of her scythe. I may be a gambling man, but even I If I don't remember by the end of the episode, someone definitely please leave it in the comments. Summer Rose. Like it Got it. Summer Rose. <laughs> Thanks whoever was about to comment the world. though. You can't stop them. I can't stop them. You know the old saying. If you can't beat them, join them. You can't beat them. <gasps> ha! Deal. I don't care what Fucking you great. Faster than you, bro. That's new. You've never actually seen him fight much. You got this is... spirit, Red, but this is the real world. The real world is cold. The real world doesn't care about spirit. You want to be a hero? Then play the part and die like every other huntsman in history. <laughs> As for me, hey, every villain is I'll do what I do best. Lie, steal, cheat, cheat, and survive! That's how they kill Torchwick? Eaten by a griffin. That is so lame. You better come back later. I know he probably didn't survive. 
five, but I'm sure he has some sort of semblance, so he could have. Get some arrows. Get out. That ship's going down. Landing strategy. This is when it comes in handy. Cybernetics. Did not see that coming. This area is secure. We need to. Oh, let's see it. Ooh, that is kick ass. Crow, this isn't my doing. I love that weapon. <laughs> you idiot. That is beautiful. I know you didn't do this. So what now, General? I can't believe this part of a weapon is so fucking cool. He's a cyborg. Someone's done the impossible and gained control of my machines. And that enormous grim seems to be fixated on the school. Glinda, form up with the local huntsman and establish a safe zone here in Vale. We need to evacuate Beacon. Crow, I'm leaving that to you and my men. I still need to get to my ship. I hate to burst your bubble. Actually, I don't. I enjoy bursting Won't bubbles. Won't be much but... of a walk. Ha! <laughs> Crow. That's great. <laughs> At least those rust buckets aren't very effective. That one is. But the little ones ain't. Um. What? Hmm. I went better than expected. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, son. You're okay! Have you heard from Ruby? No. Computer, don't shut down. What about Blake? She went after an, alpha. For an hour. And some members of the White Fang. You look for Ruby. I'll meet up with Blake. Oh, they're gonna do this. They're gonna do this. It's a type of vault. You've been here before? What would this school need to hide? What? Her. Who? Sean. Pira. Get to the pods. Mr. Oh, Arthur, question about if you've morality. Got to help, you can stand guard here. What do we do now? We do nothing. You I never thought they would do it like this. She doesn't even get to make the decision. She just has to freaking do it. Her choices are save the school, pretty much save the school, and possibly lose herself, or just go out fighting. She doesn't even really have a choice. Let's hope that ask Atlas Tech works. I never wanted this. I wanted equality. I wanted peace. What you want is impossible. Well, it's one thing to attack, but to just slap her. Because all I want is you, Blake. Oh yeah, you're real in love. As I set out upon this world and deliver the justice mankind so greatly deserves. I will make it my mission to destroy everything you love. Blake! Where are you? Starting with her. Oh my god. You're not gonna take on Yang. She will kick your fucking ass. Blake's my favorite character, ready? but Yang's semblance just makes her so fucking overpowered. I... I need to hear you say it. Yes. 
Thank you, Miss Nikos. Is he awake? Ah, uh, I can't imagine how it feel pleasant being conscious for that. It's definitely not Pira. pleasant for Pira. Holy fucking shit buckets. I love her weapon, but holy fucking shit. He meant there will be feels. Oh my god. Her mind's cut off. Oh my god. No. Stay back! Take Jean and get out of here. Find Glinda, Ironwood, Crow. Bring them here right they away. They can't. The tower cannot fall. They can't but take on. I can fall. help. They just You'll cinders get fall. In the way. They don't. Holy shit! I'm so speechless. This is not at all what I was expecting. That kind of power shouldn't be given to anyone, let alone someone that evil. Why must you hurt me, Blake? Can't believe it's in the gang's arm. Someone get in the- Oh! <gasps> Fucking Shadow Clone. How was he not expecting that? They were together forever. He knows her semblance. This whole time. <sighs> right beneath- So many feet. feels. So many fucking feels. She was right about you. Wow. Such arrogance. Oh, he's not that arrogant. But there's no way in hell he can stand up against her. He wouldn't have been able to do it before. Now? She could just flick her wrist and pretty much blow him through the wall. So, Iron with the Cyborg. That's a thing. Pretty awesome and Crow's fucking scythe. Holy shit. I wonder if his scythe works as a gun. And then she has hard light weapons, which is incredible. Uh, so much to talk about. Um, okay, her weapons. I have no idea how she gets her skill. The skills with the weapons. I'm assuming it has something to do with her semblance. But I'm definitely certain that she can't take other people's semblances or abilities. Although, if I'm wrong about that, then I guess Cody gets to rub it in my face. Um, so, Fall has all the power, and apparently they were right. The power did seek out its other half. Although that would also mean, in theory, if Pyrrha had gotten it and they killed her, then the power would have went to Pyrrha, which would have been actually a good thing if it had gotten to Pyrrha in the first place. I'm not going to say it's her fault for not making the decision sooner, because it's a big fucking decision, but it does suck ass. I don't know how they're going to take that. I'm assuming they'll get the other three seasons, which... I think winter might be winter, but I also feel like that'd be way too on the nose. I mean, win the m Winter Maiden being named Winter in the Schnee family, which is freaking... I don't remember what language. It was German or Japanese or something for winter or snow. One of my friends told me, I don't remember, I think it might have been Japanese, since it was my friend who's really into anime as well. Um, it, that's way too on the nose. Just... <laughs> I don't know how they're going to take her on, but I get the feeling if they have enough huntsmen and huntresses, they'll be able to take her, and then if Pyrrha is the last person, is the person to kill her, then the energy will probably go to her. But 
if it's someone else. I think if it was Ruby, that would be so fucking amazing, just because she's the main character, and just a lot of stuff has been obviously building up to her getting, I don't know, something. So I think that'd be fucking insane and amazing, but we're going to definitely have to wait and see how it turns out, which is amazing, because tomorrow's Thursday, so the new episode comes out. <laughs> Tuesday, uh, Thursday or Friday, so... I'm gonna have to react to that as soon as it comes out, because holy fucking shit, it's so awesome! <laughs> so, um, sorry for my freaking fanboyish, but that was incredible. I've never been this charged in a long time, so... I think I'm gonna leave it, because I've... I don't think this program actually tells you how long you've been recording, but... I know it's probably been around 20 minutes, so... I don't want to keep you guys any longer, I don't want to keep on rambling about the same things, so... If you want to talk to me about the episode, pop into the comments or shoot me a PM. I definitely have a lot to say about it. Probably more once I can get processing it properly and if I watch it again. Um, but that's all I have for now. So, until next time, carpe diem. See you later. Hope you all enjoyed the reaction and holy shit, that episode was fucking awesome. Great job, Rooster Teeth. You're all amazing. You're doing an amazing job.